Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be playing Little Miss Fortune. I know a little bit about this game, this company. I know Frambo, which I probably should have played on my channel first before this game. But it doesn't matter. So I can't wait to play this game. I got it from Steam as well. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get on with the video. Oh. What happened out here? What is that? Welcome to my game. Right. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. What's the reward? No, it's a signal. You don't tell me what to do. I'm a little This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, the sad part is today is the day she will die. Huh. I can hear you, you know. Oh? You can? Mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm... Well, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll call you Mr. Voice. O what did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. Huh? <laughs> Nobody said nothing? You know, I have prepared a game for you. A game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Deal? Eternal <clears throat> happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Okay, it's a deal. What the Wonderful. <laughs> Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I ain't leaving with you. Okay, WSD. Okay. <laughs> Look, this is my secret hiding spot. Oh, impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue too much. And when I come here, I can dream and travel far away. I see. <laughs> this is Babsy, the guardian of the secret spot. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. It was. Did you chew that eye off? This is my diary. Nobody is allowed to read it. Want to see? I'm so cute. <laughs> Did you draw all this? Uh-huh. Miss Fortune Ramirez. 
Hernandez? Okay. Okay. I like to play a lot with my toys. I like to talk to them because it's fun. <laughs> Benjamin. Ugh, that fox. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the fox we saw going into that little portal. What's it doing out here? Hello, diary. At school, I drew, and at home, I was at my hiding spot, talking to Bubsy, and I heard it. I saw a fox walking outside my room. He's called Benjamin, I think. Also, you named him Benjamin. And what does he have against the fox? Oh, yikes forever. <laughs> Hello, diary. My dad lied to me again. Not going out to the park today. I made myself pretty, but he doesn't care. I feel sad. I cry and told mommy, but I'm okay. I I cried, but told mommy I'm okay. I'm afraid if I tell her I'm sad, she'll be angry. Now, would she be angry if you're sad? Sometimes I don't know how to feel. Nobody's teaching me how to feel. I wish in school they teach us where feelings come from, but for reals, no fairy tales. That is very true. They should they should do that. Is that a heart throwing up? <laughs> they be a good love. That's what it is. <laughs> Hello, diary. Is it okay to have feelings for a fox? Benjamin the fox came to visit when I was playing outside, and we looked at each other and my heart felt warm, and like I was about to vomit, but in a good way. Then he ran away because my mommy and you shouted that dinner was ready. <laughs> oh. I don't like it when daddy hits mommy. He hit her right in front of her like that. Like... Oh my gosh. Anyway, diary. Anyway. Hello, diary. My daddy hit mommy. Is that supposed to be normal? Should I hit people I love? It doesn't feel right. You're right. It don't feel right. It shouldn't be right. You're over here hitting your mama in front of you. Maybe daddy can't see he's hurting me too when he hits mommy. I promise I'll never be like my daddy. I played today that I took a plane to Japan and saw some interesting things. I know about Japan because my friend is Japanese. He likes sushi. That's Hira, my Japanese friend. He's a ghost. Ooh. So you can talk to ghosts? You can see ghosts? <laughs> I thought she was looking at him. <laughs> my Japanese friend speaks Japanese. It's very problematic when you want to talk. It's hard to understand each other. It's confusing. But I like him. He has a pair of sweet boots and a cowboy hat. His name is Hiro and he's a ghost. I drew him a picture but I never gave it to him. Because he's a ghost. Glitter. I love my glitter. What is this? Yeah, that's glitter. Obviously. Hello, diary. Look, I have glitter from school. It's super shiny, and we use it to make Christmas cards. I think Christmas cards are pretty, but I don't believe Santa's for reals. If a man could give everyone a gift, why don't? Why can't he give poor people food and water? Water and food. Oh my gosh, I can't read. <laughs> but that is true. I'm glad she knows. I saw a TV show with people from other countries having nothing to eat. Anyway, I don't believe Santa's real. But the glitter is amazing. It makes me think that all that makes me sad and angry could be sprinkled with sparkle to look prettier. That makes me a little less sad. Oh, She's speaking facts, though. I made a real nice drawing there, you see? Yes, very nice. I did a coloring, too. Impressive. Yeah, she's speaking facts for a young girl her age. How old she said she was? I don't know. Hello, diary. I went picking tomatoes with my grandma. It smells so nice. I saw butterflies. I saw other insects, too. I ate tomatoes, and then I was stuffed. She a really good draw. Color. Whatever you want to call it. Hello, diary. I was riding my tricycle, but we don't have money for a bicycle. They look straight into the sun. And I started crying because it hurt my eyes. My mommy said that one should not look directly at it. That is true. Do not look right in the eye. Don't look the sun in the eye. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hello, diary. It was fun today because I was at the lake. And I saw birds flying and also fish in the water. I felt warm water come near my bottom. Did you pee in the water? I peed in the lake. It was really warm. <laughs> yep, I figured. She peeing, is she peeing on the fish? <laughs> Hello, diary, how are you? I'm good, too. I have to do homework, but I can't stop thinking about Benjamin. What she got going on with the fox? Look at that picture. I was such a baby. Very cute. Now I'm such a lady. I'm a little lady. That's what I am. I cannot try to do this voice. I can already tell it's gonna hurt my throat. I found a picture of me when I was younger. Time goes fast. The cake looks yummy. Sure will do. Who's that in the picture? That's next to her. Is that her mom? 
Halloween. Halloween costume idea. Little Lady Fox. Ha! <laughs> she, she taking it seriously. I love my coloring book. Ooh. What to do with the coloring book? Take it with you or leave it? <sighs> I'm gonna take it. <laughs> I'm gonna take it with me if I get bored, okay? I just hope it doesn't have consequences if I take it with me. Like, I don't want to regret this. Look, I made these paper dolls myself. This is Kimberly and this is Steven. They're on a trip fighting super evils. Is that a rock? What's this? A rock and a unicorn. What's that stuff on top of it? <laughs> My glitter. Oh, we actually do get glitter. Throw glitter with F. Does F mean fancy? <laughs> Are we gonna run out of that? I saw a monster in here once. I showed it the finger and it never came back. Oh! <laughs> Before you leave, which toy do you choose to bring with you? Can't I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay, I choose... Which toy to bring with you, the unicorn or the stone? Oh, that's that, so that was a stone. And this is a unicorn, okay. I see him on the ground right there. But which one do I take, the unicorn or stone? He said my choices are really important. Um, I'm gonna take the unicorn. I choose my soft and beautiful unicorn. Perfect. You can never go wrong with a magical unicorn. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him smiling at me. <laughs> And so you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Happiness to everything! <laughs> hey, you, on the other side of the screen, remember I told you she was going to die today? Let's keep that a secret between us, alright? Um, hey look, there's Benjamin. Out the, outside the window. I don't know if y'all saw that. But I, probably, I mean, what can the the stone, the unicorn do? Unless it can, like, grow and, sp and sprout wings and fly. I, I, don't, I probably should have took that stone. I don't know. This is Grandma. She wears a diaper, too. <laughs> you still wear a diaper? Nah. That was so last year. <laughs> hey, Grandma. Speaking of Grandma. <laughs> And she wears a diaper? Mommy likes to collect glasses. I broke a couple once by running too fast. Did Mommy find out who did it? No, but I had a piece of glass in my Ooh. foot for like five days. Five days with a piece of glass in your foot? Oh my gosh. Whole shift in, to move and run. Oh my... Now why y'all made me do that? Damn it, oh it's all gosh. broken now. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry, you can trust me. Okay, thank you. Oh my goodness, why don't we do that? Hmm, maybe I could try to fix it. Yeah, I'm gonna fix it, because I don't want this to be a problem for like if the dad comes home and he'll probably take it out on her or the mom. So... I'm just gonna fix it just to save us all the trouble. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. I wonder if I can use my mouse. Yep, okay. Oh, Lord, I'm gonna, how am I gonna do this without glue or something? Let's start with the design, I think. Nope. Wait. No? Um, 
this fit? Is that in there right? Okay, I got that part. I'm gonna start with the bottom first. Hello? Did it fit? Nope. Oh. Now where did this go? Oh. I did it. Hmm. I mean, it still look a mess, but at least we, at least we fixed it. Look, that's me. Mommy told me I have to smile, even when I'm sad. Are we out here faking emotions? My daddy's friend was a hunter and killed this moose. His daughter, Erica, she thought his gun was a toy. She said bang bang to her mommy and daddy. Then her parents died, and she was so sad. <laughs> Are you serious? This is a whole mess. Ugh, it smells like cigarettes in here. Yeah, that's my mommy. She also likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> well, are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. That's not juice, is it? Oh, dead rabbits again? When will daddy learn I like them alive? Oof. What's this mean? What's that mean? Oh. <laughs> I threw, I threw, um, glitter at it. Mommy, this smells really bad. What is it? Dead animals. That's what it is. Yikes forever. <laughs> I can only imagine what it smells like in here. Let's bless the food. Bless the food, please. Yay! Happiness to the soup! <laughs> the, poor rab the poor rabbit. We had a lovely dinner last night. Mommy wasn't that drunk and daddy actually said hi to me. What's with the family dynamics of the games I've been playing recently? The same thing kind of happened in What Remains of Edith Finch as well. Go glitter. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's nothing but positivity over here. She's like, she's going through it. Keep your head up. That's today! October 11th. Am I supposed to remember that? Tell mommy you're leaving. Yes or no? Why would I not tell her I'm leaving? I'm gonna tell her I'm leaving. I'm going out to play, mommy. She didn't even acknowledge us. Acknowledge us. Good day, morning. It's afternoon, Miss Fortune. Ah, okay. Good afternoon, morning. <laughs> Why that bird got red eyes? This is where I saw a really cute fox. I call him Benjamin. I've seen him around the house, right outside my window. I think he's really cute. Please, Miss Fortune, you should be careful around wild animals. You shouldn't cross the fox. They're all criminals. What? A fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> what does Mr. Voice have some, have against the fox? I see the on the shirt over there on the thingy over there. The lip, the symbol, the logo. I mean, this pool smells like a toilet <laughs> because I pee on it. <laughs> That is disgusting. It really Not is. Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> That's even worse. I, I hope you're not still swimming in it. 
This is where Daddy often flips. Daddy? Is he in there right now? One big happy family. So where is he? Hello, kitty. Here, come, come, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. No. Oh. Kitty, don't go. Leave that cat alone. <laughs> Damn it. I never get to pet the sweet animals. Oh, not her cousin. So, before we continue, you need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. All right. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay, Susan. There is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay, only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Your next mission is to cross this road. All right, I can do that. Look to the left, look to the right. Any course? No. Okay, I'm going. This better not be a setup. Have me cross the street like this. The hell? What monster? I didn't see anything. It was there. I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. All right. <laughs> uh -uh, can I opt out of this? Did y'all see that? I knew it was someone right. Something was coming towards us, too. Look, but... a sleepy bird. Come on. Miss Fortune. Let's go now. It had horns and everything. Or antlers, whatever you want to call it. It was coming towards us. And why did everything look so scary and evil? I mean... <laughs> Sleep tight, bird. What was that all about, though? <laughs> Out of the sky like that? <laughs> Kill Monday Games presents. <laughs> Her face. would have hit me. <laughs> Little misfortune. It's misfortune, all right. Huh. I used a little sparkle back there. Anyway, where are we? Yeah, where you got us going, Mr. Voice? All that stuff that was happening back there. Look, there's a puppy. Hello, puppy. What a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. All right. Why me? Why I gotta be responsible for this dog? I don't even know whose dog this is. What to do with the puppy? Play with it or set it free? I mean, obviously, this dog must belong to somebody. I mean, it got a collar on it and everything, a leash. It's attached to the tree. I'm pretty sure. And it got a little party hat. Is it going to a party? If I set it free, I'm pretty sure the person's going to be mad looking for it, sad, probably going to blame me, depending on where they at. So play with it. I'm just play with it because I don't want to be responsible for nobody else's dog. I will play with it so we can share a nice time together. Good choice. Now throw the ball at it. 
What ball? This ball. Ah, that ball. Okay. <laughs> You're not gonna question where that came from? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? Papa! What did I do? It's all broken now. Mr. Voice, everything I touch breaks. What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes life is just unfair. But I'm here for you. Really? Thank you. Well, sadly, the puppy will miss the party now. What party? The owner of this dog, George, is having a party. I think you have to go and tell him about the accident. What accident? Ah, yes, the puppy, yes. Let's go. It's just a bit farther ahead. All right. <sighs> See, I knew if I would have set it free, it would have made things worse, because now you found out that he's a present for a kid named George, which explains the party hat. But I did not think me playing with the dog was just going to be leading it to his early demise. <sighs> Look how flat it is. I'm like, I had a tongue all out. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> That's not funny. <sighs> well, you're in a better place now. Whatever your name was. Yikes. I'll take the party hat as a symbol of our friendship, puppy doggy. <sighs> Let me hurry up. It says no dogs allowed. Oh, really? No dogs allowed, and they want the dog right there. Ooh. Oh, it's too late. Oh no, I step on doggy do. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I couldn't. Oh, sweet. I can see my footprint. Ew. Let's see what came out. I see a lot of glitter and... Is that rice pudding? <laughs> I can't watch this anymore. Me neither. Please, let's keep moving. Carry on, please. Let's have him get out of here. I cannot believe we just did that to that dog. I should just mind my own business. That's what I should have did. That should have been an option. But nope. That sign doesn't work. Do you see all the crap lying around? That's a good observation, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. Look at all this mess. So, Miss Fortune, at the other side of this lake, you will be one step closer to the prize of eternal happiness. And the party, right? Ah, yes. That too. So how are we going to explain to George that we killed his dog. Were you invited to the party? You know, once at this lake, I got my head stuck in a plastic bag. I remember falling asleep and waking up in the hospital. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, I almost died. Well, at least somebody was nice enough to take you to the hospital. What? Uh, Did that really just happen? Happening. I think you're in big trouble, Miss Fortune. Yeah, tell me about it. Where are these birds taking me? I have no idea, but you have to do something about it fast. All right. How to break loose from the birds, kick them in the ball, to throw glitter at them. I mean, why not? Why not? Mommy told me once if guys are annoying me, I should kick them in the balls. Oh. And I asked, where are these balls? And she said, between the legs. All right, <laughs> that sounds like a plan. All right, here I go. Ball kick! Oh! <laughs> Why did it just pick us up like that? And where would it taking us? <laughs> oh, I can move her too. Ugh. This is taking a long time. 
We didn't even go that high up. Well, Did we? time seems to slow down when we are in danger. Am I in danger? Oh! Hey, look! A bird! Hello, bird! Is that a bird with uh, fingers? That was a rude bird. Was that bird flipping us off? Oh, why didn't I break my legs and die? You seem very good at falling. Thank you. <laughs> God is messing the water, dead fish. So, Mr. Voice, is the party on the same line to the eternal happiness? Yes, yes it is. Oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the news to George? About the puppy? Yes, I mean if you want to. Will you tell George about the puppy accident? If I feel like, oh my gosh. Nobody knew what I did to the dog because nobody was there. But if I do tell him, it's going to ruin his birthday party. And I don't even know if I'm even invited to the party. Like, was she even invited to begin with? So imagine going to a party telling somebody, hey, by the way, on my way here, I killed your dog. Just ruin, just ruin the mood and everything. Because <laughs> nobody knew I did it. But I know I did it. So, should I take responsibility for it? Yeah, I feel like I should. <laughs> yes, of course. That's the least I can do for the sweet puppy. That is very brave of you, Miss Fortune. Thank you. Yes, that is. Oh, look! A boat! Hello! Are we there yet? Just a little bit farther away. Ah, okay. I'm not a dead fish in the water. Speaking of fish. Uh, oh, uh, a fish! What should we do about it? Jim Sai. <laughs> what should you do about the fish? Release it or bring it with you? Maybe the fish, I can bring the fish for a peace offering, you know, as a little gift to the kid. I mean, a, a dog and a fish. <sighs> I don't, I don't want anything to do with animals in this game. But I think we should bring it. I'll keep it. His name is Rodrigo and he needs a new place to stay. The guy ain't looking at me like he know what I did at the park for that dog. Like, mm, I know what you did. Give me the big old side eye. <laughs> I wonder if Rodrigo has heard about sushi. <laughs> it's like Rodrigo put in tiny pieces, you know? <laughs> We need to hear up and get his some water before he end up dying. Where we at now? And here we are, the house of George. Oh. I'm a bit nervous about introducing myself. You'll do fine. You're brave. Telling the truth about the puppy. <laughs> Stop it. I'm doing it for the puppy, you know. <laughs> well, let's go break the news to George. But why is it so quiet out here? I don't hear no kids or nothing. Now I'm going to the doorbell. Yeah, I got a doorbell. Do it work? Nobody's answering. I'll invite myself in. At least we... Time to check out the party. At least we rang the doorbell first. Is that a dead fish? I saw a man once floating in the lake. Just like this fish. <laughs> You've seen a lot of things. But where is everybody? Why is it so quiet? Ah, oh, what a nice picture. I wish I had a picture like this with my mommy and daddy. What's with the birds? There's a lot of birds in this game. So it's the dad and that's his son, George. Okay, look like a nice little family. Ooh. Hello? What is it, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Hold on. They look like George with the blonde hair and the haircut like that. They look like George. Why was it? Oh, I, have a, I have a bad feeling about this. Like, why did he just appear right there? It looked like he was a ghost. Are you sure this is the right house? 
What is the party? Hello. Yeah, it's quiet. No music. No kids. Like, what's going on? Excuse me. Are you George? Are you the owner of a puppy? Because they bring really bad news. Oh no. Wait. Oh my gosh. It looks like he hung himself. Hang himself? Like a piñata? Should I hit him like a piñata? Please no, don't. No, misfortune. He's dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. He, he can't be dead. Yeah, oh, he's, he's gone. Okay. Hey, misfortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. I oh. like the puppy. Bye. <laughs> Hate to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> Shadam! Happiness to George the Piñata! <laughs> wow, so why did he do it? What's up with the birds? Okay, I'm here now. Let's go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes. So where's George? If he's not there and that's the dad. George did like a ghost. I hope nothing bad happened to him. Look at the birds again. Don't take me, please. Oh, we're in the woods. I can run, right? Oh yeah, I forgot I can run. Ah, oh, I love the woods with the trees and the birds and the animals. Dangerous animals, Miss Fortune. You might run into a fox. A fox? Like Benjamin? <laughs> yes, but all foxes are evil, so keep your eyes open. Oh, uh, all right. She loves her some Benjamin. But let me help you get out of here. What's that? Huh. What's this? A doll? Everything's begin everything begins with the sound of a jackdaw. What's a jackdaw? Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. <laughs> Alright. When I say song? Yeah, everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. Hmm. Interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, what do you have there? Nothing. So is he watching us, Mr. Voice? That he didn't see us pick up that doll? Stay back, Miss Fortune. What is it? A wild, dangerous fox. Wait, I recognize that black tail. It's Benjamin. It doesn't matter. Attack it before it kills you. Nah, I don't think Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> Can Hello? Benjamin even talk? Is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? Oh. Oh no, don't go! Oh. <sighs> what a relief. We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. There's a magical cave nearby. You need to find it. A magical cave? Okay. <laughs> Why do you run off like that? And I hope this is paint and not where I think it is. Oh, it looks like Benjamin likes to paint. That's pretty cool. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Focus, Miss Fortune. We need to keep going. Oh, okay. I think it is paint. I hope it's paint. Not us finishing it. <laughs> oh, boy. What the heck? <laughs> what was that? But, like, this time she was, like, in a... a force field, like a little bubble that's protecting her from whatever that thing that was coming towards her. I'm like a monster with the antlers again. So is is Benjamin trying to protect us? Or I don't know. I don't know who to trust. I kind of felt like Mr. Voice is setting us up. As soon as, as soon as I tried to walk across the street when that stuff happened in the road, I don't know. 
I think Benjamin is trying to protect us, actually. So who's the real enemy? <laughs> Let me ever get out of here. And them birds again. Oh, is this the magical cave? It doesn't look that magical. Just wait until you go inside. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. I don't. I have a question. What does this sign mean? Oh, I don't know. Sparkle? Ah, cool. So, whenever you're ready. Into the cave or stay in the forest. Why would I go in the cave? But I feel like if I stay in the forest, someone's gonna get me. And Benjamin's not here to protect me, so... <laughs> Okay, Streamlabs for some odd reason crashed on me. I don't know why, but I'm glad we were able to stop where we were. Everything's safe. Everything's good. So they asked me if I wanted to enter the cave or stay in the forest. And there's no way I'm going in that cave, but I don't want to stay in the forest either. So I just want to keep moving forward and get out of here. Oh, I can't wait to see the magic inside. How can you imagine what's inside? <laughs> This cave is huge! Echo! <laughs> well, let's explore the cave. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. There was no echo. It was me. You're a real comedian, Miss Fortune. Thank you. <laughs> so, the, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, there was like a little police tape outside, like a crime scene. There was like a a silhouette of a body on the ground. Can I go back out there to see? Oh no! It looks like the entry is blocked. Yeah, I can see that. Now what? We should explore deeper into the cave. Yeah, let's do that. So we can't get out now. We we're trapped in here. And it's how ironic that out of all days, it just had to land to keep me in here. All that, all those rocks just had to fall. Uh. What was that? What? Did I miss something? I'm not sure. I hope I was seeing that. What was that? Stuart Little? What's this? A hamster party? A magical hamster party. I know you love parties. Do I? <laughs> Can we go inside? I don't know. Let's go find out. <laughs> Whoa, hamster fight! Are you going to do something about it? In the violence between the hamsters. Yes or no? Do I want to get involved? We ain't been having so much luck with animals lately. What about Rigo? We still got him? In the violence. I don't know. I don't, don't want to get involved. I don't want to get involved in their drama. Someone spilled their ketchup. <laughs> we just witnessed a crime and it just happened right in front of us. <laughs> Why is there a cop just sitting there just watching? They ain't did nothing. What's in this purse? Oh, are those means? Maybe I should try one so I can keep my breath fresh. I'm a little lazy, you know. Please don't. Oh my gosh. Whoever this woman was, she was locked and loaded. <laughs> she got money to. Wow, I'm feeling really nice. She took it, didn't she? Why would you do that? Oh my gosh. Is that the dog? Was 
with the birds? Why is the birds always trying to get us? Oh, we're alive? Well, that was an unintereffishment at all. <laughs> Are you alright, Miss Fortune? I'm okay. I'm surprised Mr. Voice didn't tell us not to take it. He just said, let us do it. Got, we got a purse now. And more throw up. And the blood's been cleaned up. Excuse me, how about little lady get inside? No, I'm not very important, you say? Okay. Can you believe this guy, Mr. Voice? We have to find another way out now. I mean, we can't even fit in there anyway. Excuse oh, me, I did it how about little lady get inside? No, I'm not very important, you say? Okay. Can you believe this guy, Mr. Voice? We have to find another way out now. There's a whole club down here underground. These tiny cutie cars are killing me with their cuteness. <laughs> so cute. You got them out here drinking and smoking. Look at them with their tiny cocktails and their tiny clothing. This is too cute for me. Those hamsters making out. What is this hamster GTA? Check that lady out. I think she's in trouble. Oh no, I think I recognize her. She's the owner of the club back there. Are you serious? Yes, looks like she was robbed. Oh, I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes, you're right. Let's go uh, see if we can help her. Excuse me, I think I have your purse. Go easy on the mints, though. I tried one and it was a wild ride. Is that for hmm? me? What is it? VIP. Oh, snap. I think we can actually go in now. That's your reward for returning the bag. A VIP ticket for the club. I get to party inside the club? <laughs> yes, and one <laughs> step closer to the eternal happiness. <laughs> That's a win win for me. Let's go back and find out what's in there. <laughs> we can get in now, but how are we gonna fit in here? Excuse me, I'm a very VIP. <laughs> Here's my ticket. <laughs> what? Finally, a real party. Oh, they really let us in here. Wow, this place is so sweet. Is this the VIP floor? Yes, you could say that. Am I allowed to dance? Of course you are. <laughs> Sweet. Listen, Miss Fortune, you <laughs> need to find the white rabbit. A white rabbit? Why? It will lead you closer to the eternal happiness. Okay, I'll find it. You yeah, hear like their little tiny voices. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're cute. So cute. Is that strawberry juice? Mmm, yummy. Oh my lord. Excuse oh. me, can you let me through? Hmm, okay. Oh. oh no, unicorn, what are you doing? Don't be rude now. What's happening? It looks like this hamster challenged my unicorn to a dance battle. No, we don't have time for this. I'm sorry, but I can't stop this now. You can do it, sweet unicorn. Oh, now it's about to have a bit a day. <laughs> Hit the correct keys and follow the rhythm. Oh gosh. We really finna do this right now. Perfect. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Great. <laughs> You're on fire. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Sweet moves. <laughs> Shake that booty. <laughs> Dance. <laughs> Super. I love you. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're on fire. Boy. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Sweet moves. <laughs> Shake that booty. Dance. <laughs> Super. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Great. <laughs> You're on fire. Boy. <laughs> You know, you was 
why I come on beat. Slow, great, bad move, sweet moves. <laughs> Shake that booty, <laughs> dance, <laughs> super. <laughs> I love you, <laughs> cute, <laughs> perfect, <laughs> sweet, <laughs> great. <laughs> You're on fire. Yes, oh. forever. Sake. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Sweet moves. <laughs> Shake that booty. <laughs> Dance. Super. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Cute. I think I got the rhythm now. Perfect. Ah, oh, sweet unicorn. We need to work on your dance moves. I'm sorry to interrupt, but we really need to get going. The eternal happiness is still out there. Don't you want it? Oh, yes. I really want it. Let's go. Okay, so I had to skip the um, dancing part because my game kept freezing and I don't know why and it kept messing up. So I had to keep restarting the game and it, it just wouldn't let me do it. So I did manage to capture a little bit of footage from it, but unfortunately I couldn't finish it and we didn't win. So <laughs> I do apologize, but it wasn't working for me. What's that? Oh, so cute. Is that sugar? Is that why they're so sweet? Yes, sure. Why not? <laughs> that ain't sugar. That's you know what? Is that the Look, right? The white rabbit. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's... Yes. Where's she taking us? Hey, you, on the other side of the screen. Listen, mm -hmm. I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will misfortune really die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act Norma, she's coming. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune, you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry. It's not far from here. Great. <laughs> Why are we? We're like we're in a, the, the, the city, the town now. Why is that missing poster of little girl? And they got the birds again. But yeah, guys, I'm going to stop right here. Thank you all for watching. Thank, thank you for watching and tuning in to this video. I am really excited to find out what happens and what this eternal happiness prize is. I don't know whether to trust the, her, um, Mr. Voice or the Fox, but it looks like Mr. Benjamin is actually trying to protect us. But I'm not so sure. I don't, I don't trust Mr. Voice. I feel like he's setting us up for something bad. And I'm really upset about the fact that my game kept freezing during that little dancing segment with the unicorn and the hamster. But hopefully I was able to capture enough footage before it froze. Hopefully I'll be able to edit that in there. But if not, then I apologize. But thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!